Okay then gang, so in this video what I'd like to do is use our own custom font for our project. Now by default, Tailwind comes with a load of different fonts as standard and you can find that property right here in the default configuration font family and this outlines three properties, sans, serif and mono and each one is essentially a different set of fonts, a different font family. So by default, if we don't add any font classes to change the font family in our HTML, it uses this sans one right here, which is this font family. So that's the default font out of the box. But if we wanted to, we could use a class to change it to this or this one. So let me demonstrate that first of all. Let me use this one. So the way we do that is by saying, for example, inside the body, font and then hyphen, serif which is the name of the property right here or it could be font hyphen mono so if i save this now and preview over here then we can see we now have that serif font so we can also do mono let me get rid of this and choose mono and save it and we can see the mono fonts now like i said if we don't have any of those then the default one is the sans one which is right here so that would be the same as saying font hyphen sans if i save that it's going to look no different it's the same font now what if i want to use my own custom font that i get from somewhere else well all we have to do is extend the theme in our own tailwind config file so first of all we need to choose which custom font that we want to use and i'm going to choose that from google fonts in fact i've already chosen it and this is nonito but if you want to use your own one you can search for a different one or get it from somewhere else that's entirely your choice and I'm going to select all of these styles. I think there's a select all somewhere, but you know what? I'm just going to select them all individually like this. And then I'm going to go to embed and I want to use this import statement. And all I need to do is grab this and paste it in my CSS file. That's the first thing we need to do. We need to import this from Google fonts so we can have access to it because if we didn't do that then no matter what we place inside this config it still wouldn't have access to that custom font so we first of all need to open up the source CSS and at the top I'm gonna paste this in so that is now importing this font into this styles.css file and now we can reference that inside our tailwind config file now the way we do that is by saying this is the font family, Nunito. So let me copy that. And then over here, we want to extend again. So under colors, I'm gonna say font family, like so. And inside that, I wanna register this new font. Now I can give it whatever name I want. I'm gonna call it body. And then this is an array and we're gonna paste in Nunito. Now you could add other fonts as well to make up this font family if you want. I'm not going to do that in our case. I'm just going to use Nonito. So now, if I use a class which is font hyphen body, then it's going to use Nonito as the font. And it knows what this is because of this right here where we imported it. All right. It says family equals Nonito and it grabs it from Google Fonts. So because we've changed this and we've also changed this, remember, we have to rerun our CSS build script. So let's open up the terminal and let's do that by saying npm run build hyphen CSS, press enter, it's gonna rebuild it for us. And now we can use this new font inside the index.html file, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say font hyphen, and now we get access to the body one right there, which we created. So if we save that and go back to our project, we can now see that new font right here. Awesome. 